Welcome to our channel. I'm Dee. I'm Kelly. Oh, oh I'm Dee. <laughs> I'm Kelly. <laughs> we are Sisters, Sisters of Stitchcraft. Stitchcraft. <laughs> it's almost getting boring now. I guess so good at it. <laughs> Not on Zoom. <laughs> that I don't think that'll ever work. No. To be fair. Oh, wow. It's so, it needs must. <laughs> today we are here to talk about our so fruity challenge. Yeah. Bit of a reveal in the catwalk. You can see that at the end. <laughs> do you love a catwalk? <laughs> so, um, Kelly, do you want to go first? Because you did more than I did. Mm. So I did make all of my So Fruity plans. I'm quite impressed with my little stuff. I made three Ellery dresses in a week. <laughs> it's like literally, I know, but it was a nice, <laughs> easy make. So, so yes. So this is the first one that I made. Lovely. I do love it. Yeah, it's very and I love cool. The green binding. Do you like it? the contrast mm, binding? I do. I really like that. I, I think it uh, helps to really bring the colours the out. Yeah, I think otherwise it would be a little bit lost. Well, my my thought process was one. I went to the local haberdashery and they had the perfect green. Yeah, I don't know if you match. can see that. It's like absolutely yeah. perfect match for the green um, trellis type yeah. stuff. Um, and I thought, well, do you know what? Also white gets so grimy around a neck, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? You Especially know, in the summer. Makeup, sweat, mm. grime in general, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And I thought, it would be better without that. Yeah, I absolutely Also, agree. I had limited time to make bias binding. <laughs> so I haven't got one of the contraptions you've got, and I haven't, I even, got, it, I haven't yeah. even got the little metal one that you get separately. Right. I literally yeah. have to mess around with my fingers and nearly burn them all the time. And I thought, I don't have time for that. I haven't got time for that. So I went to the haberdashery in Worston called Williamson's. Fantastic little haberdashery. Oh, I'll have to go there. I've not it's been there. It's a lovely little haberdashery. Mm. They do do a lot of fabrics, mostly quilting rather than dressmaking, I would say. But, you know, yeah. some of those are good for dressmaking as well. A lot of wool. Okay. So half the shop's yeah. wool and the other half is more sewing related. Mm -hmm. There are lots of little bits in there. Um, anyway, so I got this beautiful green and I got a purple to go with the other one, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I love it, although I wish I'd put the elastic a bit tighter in the sleeve because it's very... I tend to always do it too tight. Right. I was so concerned about that. you're better off that. being careful, I think, because if it's too tight, I spend my whole life just going like that on my blouses, my sagebrush. The thing is, it's so loose that I can't get it to hold right. up there even. Yeah. Because I've got quite slim arms. <laughs> slim arms. You have. Um, I'm like me. So, um, so it doesn't even hold up there. Yeah. But I, I also quite like that oversized, loose feel yeah. about it as well. What I would say is I feel like it needs darts. Right, okay. Um, which is really difficult because it's grown on the sleeve. So this is the Ellery dress by Swim Style Patterns. And I followed their YouTube tutorial. By the third dress, I didn't need it. It's so simple. Such a quick, easy make. And I love it. So what I was saying about it, um, is with these grown on sleeves, I think if I was mm. to make it, I'd leave this bit off. Because yeah. as you know, I get too hot if I have sleeves. So I think you could actually just buy a spine that, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. Make a nice little cap sleeve there. Yeah, definitely. Or even put just a cuff on it or something. Yeah. Or I think I would do that. You could it. even do exactly. it so that it was sleeveless up yeah. here, I think. I'm not sure I'm clever enough not, to do that. I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'd but give I'm it sure a go. it's a possibility, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely, I think I could yeah, do so that, which would be length. another look as well, isn't it? Absolutely, so, but I I love the statement yeah. sleeve, I must admit. I, I, that's... <laughs> I love them, but I just can't wear them. Every time I make them, I'm just like, oh, too hot. So, <laughs> well, you're always cold. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. <laughs> so, I mean, look at me, I'm already glowing because we've just done yes. a catwalk. And this fabric, <laughs> by the way, is so Hayley Jane, and it's got strawberries yellow yeah, and so red cute. strawberries on it which is very cute and hence the theme indeed so, so fruity. Fruity. Yeah, we're making strawberries Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> i love your strawberry fabric even more though this is so <laughs> hayley jane as well oh good old hayley <laughs> so this was the dress that uh was a top and a skirt that i made two years ago um and i'll put the before and after up um and so what i did with this one was i didn't actually need to alter the skirt at all 
Amazing. Um, because where you don't, the reason it was big was because the waistband, and obviously you don't need on a dress to do the waistband up. Oh. What I did was I opened the waistband up, and I really liked having that bit around the middle. So if you look here, you won't be able to see on there, but if you look here, you can see where there's waistband. a big yeah. band bit there. And I quite like that look, because mm. what it did is it lowered the skirt. So instead of being coming from the, the, the pleats coming from the waist, the waist from they the come hip. from the hip. I think that's and so that much more flattering. so much more flattering, yeah, I, I agree. think. But, and that's, I think, what's made a biggest difference about the way it looks. I mean, obviously yeah. I have lost weight, but even so, I think doing that has really changed yes. that. Yes, I, that, if if I was going to make a skirt like that, I would want the dropped waist. Yeah, I definitely recommend it for anything like that. And I yeah. think I will look at doing that future when yeah. I do, is just do a waistband on top of yeah. another bit. So that's what I did with the skirt. The skirt was really easy. All I did was literally unpick the waistband and take the zip out. That's all I had to do so on that. Cool. The top, um, I think I said to you, I wasn't sure though I'd have enough. So I had some navy blue, blue, navy blue yeah. just a bit of, I think it's like a fat quarter or something I was going to maybe use. Um, but I didn't need it. So I unpicked it. It was, <laughs> I'd done French seams on it. Oh my Ages goodness. to unpick. I never thought I was going to get it done, done in time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was full of French seams. So I it was obviously, I obviously made it before I had my overlocker. Um, so um, yeah, so it took forever to unpick. Anyway, I unpicked it, and I got a pattern which I used on a jumpsuit in uh, for Christmas, which was just an Etsy. It's just the Etsy, um, just a little um, bodice. Uh, yeah, it was bodice. like oh, I don't know, it's a couple of quid I think I paid for it last year, um, and there was enough of this fabric once I pulled it out to do that. So um, so I was able to use the whole of this. So that was like panels, wasn't it? Kind of. Yeah, so you've got uh, six panels. Yeah. So what I was thinking was you could do, if I, if I needed to, I could have contrasted the colour with some yeah. of the panels. Um, and the good thing, <laughs> so the size I cut out was slightly too small, uh, too small, I think, yeah, too small, in the sense of here I need it quite small, but around the back I need the bigger panels. So next time, that's what I need to try and remember. When I did it at Christmas, it was a stretchy fabric, so I didn't notice nah. it as much. But all I did um, was I just took the seams out. Your boobs look massive in that, don't Thank they? You. <laughs> <laughs> You're very busty. Um, so yeah, so what I did was I just reduced the seams. Cool. Um, because you've got so many seams, this yeah. this to this, I did normal. Yeah. And then the seams back here, I reduced the seams. And actually, that made it fit. Fantastic. So, a little bit tight, but it's doable. Yeah. Um, and then big zip up the back. So, yeah, really cool. Yeah, red Love zip. it. Um, I also, I lined it, but it's lined with an old sheet. So, which cool. was part of my stash I'd used for something else. Lining it is really easy. When on the tutorial, well, not the tutorial, on the pattern that you get, she does the binding on it. But what I find is that something like this, it's so easy to line because you just do it like a facing. You just right. cut another bit just out and then add it on facing. like a facing and it's right. just a good facing because you're adding it because I was adding it to the dress. Yeah, I've never lined anything. Yeah, so, so I've I just worked it out myself really. And then added and in, they're obviously enclosed in there, but added bar straps so they're all, they um, okay. adjust. Which means yeah. they don't keep falling down like the other nice. ones did. So yeah, nice. really pleased, really happy. I love it. Today, I don't know if you've seen this on my, um, my Instagram, so I had a picture on there, but today I elevated it by putting a petticoat underneath it. It looks amazing. <laughs> wait till you see it on the catwalk, it's lovely, I love it. Can't wait for a party. It's can somebody have a party, please? It looks amazing, yeah, <laughs> we need to have a party here. <laughs> so I can wear my dress. <laughs> so she can wear a dress and we can have fun. So yeah, so the aim of the game was to take something which I had a really good story and I loved and, you know, it was really special to me and take it and make it into something that was wearable at my size that I am now. And I feel yeah, I've done that. Definitely. So <laughs> it's, it's a stunning make, I love it. Thank you. And I love the Thank fact that it's on a navy blue background because it just makes everything pop. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's so much better than if it was on black. Yeah, well, well, even on black it would have been fine, but I just really no, like the tone down yeah. of the navy. I, I love a bit of navy. I don't know why I haven't really mm. made anything navy. Yeah. I've got navy leggings. I think that's about all I've done in navy. I love, oh, I've mm. got a navy cardigan that's not finished. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Mm, one you day. Must get that finished. <laughs> So anyway, I've banged on about this dress long yeah, enough. Over to beautiful. you for your next one. So I should grab my you're second doing, one. You're doing them in order. Or are you gonna I'm going to do it in order, yeah, yeah just because. But I this can. is a lovely fabric too, isn't it? So this was from a D stash from Rachel's D stash, oh, I believe. I Stitched thing. up. Yeah. So beautiful, and I did quite well with the placement of the trees, so that it does not like got one on each. Yes, you did really well. I did really well, well to make that, sure yeah. that it's just so pretty. 
And with this one, I used a contrast binding as well, which I've done around the bottom of the skirt on both of them and nice. around the neck just to sort of balance it out. And again, that was from Williamson's and it was just stunning. And I just love it. So I love the colours. So you didn't alter anything? You did it exactly the same? No, it did it exactly the yeah, same. It didn't alter lovely. anything. It's um, cool. just... As the pattern says, I can't remember what size I did, yeah. but I'm sure I probably got You didn't notes. add the darts then, you weren't brave enough no, to do that. No, because the grown on the sleeve, I was a little, sorry, should I come back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Okay, <laughs> um, because of the grown on sleeve, I wasn't really sure how to do it. Do you know, yeah. um, in a couple of weeks ago, they did those cat's eye darts, didn't they? Where, yeah. Um, the and I was thinking thing. maybe that would work, the double dart thing. Don't know. But I don't know because it's all a grown on sleeve. I wasn't really sure, and I think it's because the fabric is more structured. Yeah. Um, and so is right, it, so yeah. it is on that so the one. So more floatier fabrics, you wouldn't necessarily need it because it, it hangs better. differently. Yeah. Um, so I probably wouldn't. Yeah, that that's probably probably good wouldn't put a dart on it, or maybe you could do. I don't know. There must be a solution oh, because it just please. What does everybody think? It just do we feels need a dart like on it? here. Yeah, I get that. Even though it, it's meant to be oversized, and I love the oversized look of it, it just feels like where it's a more structured cotton, like it just needs mm. something, I don't know. Maybe it's some sort it's of fine. bust adjustment, because yeah, maybe, maybe it's where you've got yeah, a bigger I've got, chest, um, it's not sitting maybe as much as it is. Different. Maybe, well, I want to make yeah. it, maybe I should make it and see what I think when I yeah. make it as well. Yeah, That's definitely, you should definitely make it yeah. and see what you think. Because I'm flat chested, so it'll probably sit differently on you. Yeah. Obviously not today, apparently. Not today, <laughs> not today, you're, you're I think it's, I think it's the bra, not the dress. Yeah, but maybe. Anyway. But anyway, <laughs> it looks stunning either way. Um, so that was my second one. So yeah, I just made it exactly the same. <clears throat> Although that one has come up shorter, I think. It's almost... Reminds me of a baby doll. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's just when you do the seams or you're gathering. Yeah, and yeah, it's maybe it's just that. Like, yeah. And it's amazing what, you know, half a centimetre difference. If you did that on both pleats, <clears> on <throat> both tiers, yeah. that's, you know. I always look at pattern pieces different. and think there's no difference. There's virtually no difference in one size mm. to another. But obviously it makes a difference. Yeah. Um, so. But yeah, loving loving that one as well. I love, love them. <laughs> and of love course that one's almost purple. It is almost purple. It has got a lot of purple in it, yeah. which is why I went for the purple trim, because the birds are quite purple and there's quite a lot of purple on the leaves. Yeah. Um, so I thought that would just bring out the purple. But yeah, I love it. Can't, Excellent. Can't sell it all. <laughs> so my next one um, was <laughs> something that I've been wanting to make for a long time and actually did win a prize in the blood pressure challenge because yes. it's been on my to-do list for so long. Um, I'd made a Donny shirt. Late so, to the party. <laughs> yeah, very late to the party. <laughs> but, um, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to do some block printing. So mm. what I did was I used this So Haley Jane fabric. Only had a metre. A metre does work for a Donny shirt. I know we'd be looking always at it. We've yeah. always doubted. We've always doubted it. Everyone says it is. And every time like, mm, we're like, are they really no, tiny? It does. It really <laughs> works. Um, so yeah, so I made my Donny shirt, uh, really happy with it. And then what I did was I did some printing on it. So on the, I just did one cherry on the front and then I did some cherries and lemons on the back. So, so cute. there you go. Um, what I will say on this one is I did have a few issues with it, but I think they were my issues, not the pattern issues. Right. I also used the tutorial online, which is really unusual for me to use yes, the tutorial. Yes, it is. Yeah, and I, use, tutorial I always person. use the pattern. The pattern. Yeah. And what I wanted to do, because there was a few things that were new to me, especially with the collar, um, I thought, oh, look at the tutorial and I'll read the instructions at the same time because I've done that before. Right, so I can okay, follow yeah, it through and then I can use it, sort of use the bits I visual, know and then the bits yeah. I'm not new, I can refer. The tutorial is different to the written instructions. <laughs> ah, it's probably a pattern company, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, her, yeah her, the avenue is the same. Was it? Yeah. Completely through me. So then I went just the tutorial. I thought, right, I've got to make a decision here. So I went just the tutorial. Yeah, I thought, just do one and do it that way. Um, and the only things I found difficult was I did get some pleating on the, um, when you attach the collar at the back, I did get some pleating in there. I found that quite difficult to do. Puckering. Yeah, a little bit of puckering. Yeah. So I found that quite difficult. Um, and one of my sleeves is the wrong way around. <laughs> because yeah. the reason that is, is because I, I put a binding, a Becky seamstress binding on here um and 
what I did was I cheated. I quite often cheat when I do it because I put it on before I sewed the side seams and then it just gets, the, instead of adding it with a complicated way of doing it, it just does it with the overlocker. It's complicated, <laughs> like sewing the ends yeah. <laughs> together. So um, what I did was I put the binding on before I attached the sleeve and didn't consider which side I was putting it on because this, this fabric is very much a, you can use either side, there's no right or wrong side which is great usually, but because I put the binding on, I had to use it the way I'd done it. So one of the sleeves is the wrong way around, but you can't actually Doesn't see it. And I think show. you'll notice in the, the um, catwalk. catwalk that you can't actually see it. So other than that, it was great. And actually underneath, I've got some great pattern, ma pattern matching going on. <laughs> 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 on there. I was quite Brilliant. pleased with the inside. It's all very yeah. neat. I uh, can't see it, but I was really pleased with it. So um, yeah, so I was really pleased with that. And then just for just for pictures and things what i did was i did a bit of printing on here i didn't make these jeans so i can't take any credit they for that but... Fantastic on. <laughs> but i put on the the pockets on the back i just put some little cherries to match so it makes quite a nice little cute outfit it yeah. really does you see it on the couch it is so and it's fresh looking but, as yeah. well i really love but it but really love this and i'm definitely going to make another one and i don't really like white jeans i've been anti them since the 80s not gonna lie <laughs> Um, but actually, they look amazing. I've grown into them the last couple <laughs> of years. Love, My mum gave me you. the cropped pair that I use. Mm. I wear quite a lot. And I was like, mm, white jeans. And actually, Cropped I've worn them jeans. loads. I really like them. <laughs> and then I got those just purely to practice printing. Lovely. Didn't expect to like them so much. But as you said, they look, they look really amazing. nice on. Look so amazing. Please. The outfit looks yeah. amazing. It so, all looks amazing. The, the thing of this, this fabric, I don't know what you're going to make with yours. But what I will say oh, is it bag felt lining. very much like a school shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so I was really pleased I was printing it because I, I put it on and I thought oh that's really nice but I feel like it's a see I think it's very nurse uniform <laughs> looking oh yeah don't tell Matt that <laughs> <laughs> mm. but yeah but so yeah. I think yeah it, it depends on what you make with it but yeah or theatre gown if you make the wrong thing it could look very like you're yeah, going to have an operation done color, isn't it? yeah um, but, but, I, yeah. but it looks lovely but no, so Johnny. I was glad I did the printing on it because it just turned yeah, it from being definitely. a school shirt <laughs> yeah. yeah you're right yeah, yeah, yeah. Really now like you've it. seen it that's it you can't unsee yeah, that's it. it that's going to be a school but uniform. really love that pattern so glad that I finally I'd been putting it off because I was worried about a certain elements I've not done before like the collar and, and all that was it the burrito method you used yeah. the thing? oh that was the other thing I did wrong okay <laughs> Have I told you about this? No, no, no. Oh, right. The other thing I did, which again, nothing to do with the pattern, it's totally me, it is the burrito method. And I did it all up. And then as I was sewing it, I didn't realise I got some of it caught oh, no. in there. Did and I was so it? careful. I was being so, so careful. Yeah, I had to unpick. And that was frustrating because then you can't turn it inside so out was properly that to unpick it. Was that the issue you had with the collar? Because did you not have an issue with the collar as well? No, that was all the pleating. Oh, around, Okay. I did have a couple of little issues mm. throughout it, but it was more either something that was my skill or my execution. The burrito was fully my fault. And I was really trying hard, so I really thought I'd got it. And I was so angry with myself. So afterwards. annoying when you catch yeah. on, on a couple of times on these dresses, I've managed to catch yeah. on the gathering I've, or wherever, I've managed to catch in some of it. So, and I'm like, oh, God. And I started putting it out, and I was like, oh, this is looking really good. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> So, so, yeah, so just be really careful with your burritos. <laughs> I've never done it, so yeah, I'm quite interested to see how that yeah, works. Yeah, it gives it a really nice finish. It's beautiful. The, um... I'm, I, I must admit, I'm a little bit like, I don't, I've not wanted to try the Donny. I don't really mm. like it. It's too boxy, too baggy. Don't think it would be flattering on my figure. I don't think, I don't think it would, to be fair. But it looks amazing on D. <laughs> so, but I think if you made so it longer as people, well, you, you could yeah. take it in and that would give it a different look. But, yeah. but I'm really pleased with it. And like you say, I'm really pleased. I was oh. worried it was going to be too boxy, but actually I really like it. It looks perfect. And it's quite a short cropped really yeah. style shirt i think but it's just the right height yeah there's those no jeans. absolutely it's just the right no length. alterations to that at all it's yeah, the exact it's length perfect. so if yeah if you were taller you would probably want to make it longer because obviously i'm not very tall i definitely probably would so, yeah. <laughs> i was making it which i'm not going to so that was my second one right, actually so it's my third i'm gonna go and get my third one <laughs> If you've watched our plans video, it was on the plans video. <coughs> so, Excuse me, I'm choking on my tea. Beautiful. This is beautiful, my favourite. Beautiful, my favourite one. <laughs> it's I my absolutely one love too. this. It's a linen viscose from Rainbow Fabrics. <coughs> <coughs> Basically, it's Cadbury purple, but for the purposes of So Fruity, 
<laughs> it was grape purple and it worked. Oh, does that mean we can say chocolates are fruit? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Let's. But I just love it. And again, I've used the purple trim, the bias binding, mm, ready made. Lovely. Because again, I didn't just didn't have time to make my own, but I could have. I had plenty and left I to make think binding. This one hangs better on you than that one. A hundred percent. It's mm. the one that hangs the best on me, and it's because it's a less structured fabric. Brilliant. So, in future, I would always make this in a less structured fabric yep. than than the other two. I mean, I wear these and I love them, but this one's more me. Yeah, and it fit. It feels. I don't feel like it needs darts it's or anything. More floaty, it hangs, isn't it? It's more yeah. floaty. It's um, floaty. I absolutely love this dress. If I could wear this all the time, I would. Because look at it. <laughs> it's it is purple. Cool. It's, it's my favourite purple, and I just love it. And I mm. just love it on. I think it suits me. I think it makes my skin look vibrant and good. I just love mm. it. Absolutely, I'm making another one at the moment. I'm halfway through my fourth Ellery dress in a fortnight. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm making it with the linen viscose, the watercolour flowers that we got. Oh, yeah. Um, that I got, got in there, so Hayley Jane. Jane. Mm -hmm. um, the paint box one. Yeah. It was number 57. I want to use something. the tie-dye for one. Oh, yeah. I think. Although that's quite a big pattern, so I'm not sure about breaking that up with the tears. I think it'd be but right because you could have most of the pattern on the it? top and then mm. it would just you just have the colours yeah, that blend in. Yeah, it would be amazing in that Because viscose. that fabric would be lovely definitely for it. Definitely be yeah. amazing in a viscose. I would definitely make so. it in a viscose, but mm. I'm making it in that linen and it's just going to be stunning. And mm. hopefully I'll finish it tonight so I can wear it tomorrow because <laughs> we're going to a castle. Oh, and I can get definitely. photos of it from <laughs> at a castle or at Durdle Door because we'll be going there too. Oh, nice. I know, I've never been. Lovely. Have you not? Oh, no. we've been. Yeah, we have been. So. I've never been. So we're going to Lulworth Castle. Because we both love a castle. For yeah, our, it's our anniversary castle. on Monday. Our wedding anniversary yeah. already. I know. Two, two years. years. So I said, why don't we go to the castle? I can't go Monday because I've got cosy. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going tomorrow. So we're going to go tomorrow. And I'm going to wear my new dress. I've got to finish it tonight. Hopefully after our lasagna Ooh, for dinner. Which is going to be lasagna and garlic bread for dinner. Well, I'm going to pick up my new car tomorrow. Oh, I'm so, so excited. Not, I might wear my Donny shirt. Oh my God, <laughs> why not? So I can get some nice pictures in my new that car. That would be so cool. <laughs> so cool. So, so anyway. Yes. So, yeah. so, so I actually, I'm quite impressed. So again, did, you didn't do any No adjustments. Just so made it as same. is. Yeah. Um, but it's amazing, isn't it? How it, it does like sit differently just because it's a different fabric. Yeah, 100%. Sorry, I was just going to have a look to see what size I made so that I can oh, say yeah. what size I made. Oh. I think I made a 2XL, if my memory serves me correctly. Ellery dress, one, so fruity, cotton, garden, garland, 2XL. So yeah, I traced out and cut out the um, 2XL and that's what I've made for all of them. And yeah, I made no adjustments mm. to them, just made them as is. On the Donny, I did the medium. I wasn't sure whether to do the medium or the large. Um, I was a bit confused by the <laughs> sizing. Um, and again, I think because, you know, if it's a floaty dress, it doesn't matter so much and things like that. But because you don't want that to be too big, because yeah. it wouldn't sit properly. Um, so actually, Sam, so let's sparkle Sam. I, I know she's made a few, yeah. which is similar sizing to me, which is bigger chest, but she's similar sizing in every other way. Um, so I messaged her and she said, yeah, definitely do the medium, that'd be fine. So that was really helpful. Cool, so thanks, Sam. Um, Sam, we love but yeah, Sam. So I did the medium in that one and it's perfect. So that's what cool. I'm doing. I think I'm... Sam would like my glasses case. I think she would. <laughs> She'll see on the catwalk. <laughs> oh, are you going to show it? I've anyway? got it here. <laughs> <laughs> Look. I thought of Sam. I want one of these too. How well, sparkly and cute is it? has got like hologram and it's just like a little, it's, it's a children's glasses case for their sunglasses, but I thought I could need yeah. it in my life. And I've tested my glasses and they fit in there, so my I'm going to get one too. Yeah. <laughs> so we're all going to have them. So my third one wasn't a garment. It was not a garment. Because you didn't have to use a garment for this did challenge. did not, it was brilliant. Yeah, you, you could, could do could something do different. fruity, basically. So bear with me while I pick up my next one. <laughs> I made. And you won a oh. prize for this oh. one, didn't you? Well, it's just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got petticoat everywhere. <laughs> I made a poof! A closet called poof! And what I did was I used old denim. So these are all jeans and old denim skirts and things that don't fit or broken or whatever. Broken? <laughs> yeah, they're broken. Um, and a fat quarter that had some lemons on it because it goes in my tiki lounge. So the lemons are quite appropriate for a gin and tonic, I feel. And then in the middle, um, last time I made one, I put a button in the middle. This time I just, um, this is just a iron-on badge thing. And cool it's a little badge. kiwi. 
so, cutie patch. Yeah. It's really cute. I didn't notice so that. So if you look photo. at the sides, I've kept the pockets on there, the jeans, and then I use the waistband to make some little handles so that you can carry it nice and easy because when they're full, they're heavy. So yeah, and then some little patches on there. They're not fit to me, but yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> the patches are made from um, Becky, Specky. Specky. Laura. Laura. Specky seems <laughs> They are indeed. Yes, that's yes. what I thought. So, yeah. They thought we got at the Stitch Festival. Probably. Because <laughs> we got the ones we thing. accidentally got at the Stitch Festival. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, how fabulous is that? And it looks great in, in situ as well because I've yes. seen it. So, and uh, yeah. yeah, won a prize. That Fantastic. Was, that was the you one that came up for the prize. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And it's very heavy. It's very full. But she's still got more room <laughs> for scraps in there. So, there we go. And that's it really for our Sophie. Yeah. Yeah, although I've already that's been eyeing up fabric for Sophie 25. <laughs> I'm like, I want that for next year. <laughs> Brilliant. So, yeah. Um, that's so it. I really enjoyed it. So, all that's left to do is uh, run the catwalk, I guess. Oh, yes. <laughs> I forgot about the catwalk for a minute. We had so much fun. We were singing oh, yeah. the Wham Rap. If anybody yes. needs to oh, yeah. know, if you what, what we were the dancing were, to Wham. It was Wham. <laughs> Taking us back yeah. to our teenage years. There's a bit of wham, wham rap going on. And, yeah. yeah. All the old stuff. Love it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for listening and happy sewing. Happy sewing. Bye. Bye. <laughs>